Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality Lovers of truth, wisdom, knowledge, the esoteric path, irreverence, sarcasm <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to um, make a video now I usually don't at this time of the day but this was too funny not to <laughs> I was on YouTube surfing as you do and I found a video by a channel called Grace to You right <laughs> titled Making Christ Attractive in a Pagan World <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the funny thing is, the likes and dislikes are hidden. Well, YouTube d uh, hides the dislikes now. But uh, the <laughs> the likes are hidden and comments are turned off. <laughs> oh, these people just provide me with never-ending comedy. It's fantastic. I really hope that Abrahamic gobshites exist for the rest of my life. So they can provide me with much needed humor. <laughs> oh, the title of that video I just find so fucking hilarious. Um, first of all, the, <laughs> making Christ attractive. Well, firstly, without going into a whole rambling one or two hour video about the history of Christianity and... How Constantine uh, and his cronies single-handedly created the cringeworthy literalist Christianity. The, uh, and as I said in my previous videos, thereby instantly signing their, their death warrant by making themselves in, in the moment they chose to, to become literalist making themselves totally relevant for the rest of humanity history um, there's nothing about that which is going to be attractive to anybody with half a brain so there, there's that uh, there is a book that I mentioned called The Pagan Christ by Thomas Harpur and I'm reading that for my research purposes and I'm thoroughly enjoying it uh, of course between uh, my Star Wars book my um, fantasy fiction book and the Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, Gear Moon's um, saga book you can imagine and a huge backlog of magazines to read yeah but uh, see the man in the introductory chapters the man went through his uh, dark months of the soul because he realized that the religion he was trained in and loved so for so many years and spent so many years studying to become an Anglican I believe um, minister were all for nothing because his literalist religion is a joke and fake and a big lie um, so now he's finally gone back to the pre-literalist, allegorical, more um, gnostic foundation of Christianity, wherein lies the power and the wonderfulness, I suppose, for those who feel drawn to those symbols and concept. Um, and the religion has now become more wonderful and beautiful and enjoyable and powerful to him because he's connecting to the deep-seated collective human connection with symbols and images and creatively visually crafted concepts because as I've said, and as many other people have said for a very long time, imagination is the key to open yourself 
to the world, to the inner world of spirit. Because we as human beings connect much more strongly with symbols and images and archetypes and allegorical depictions, creatively depicted to bypass the conscious, uh, I suppose you can say the ego mind, uh, beta level consciousness. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm using the, the, the brain, um, the brainwave lingo. Um, the, the, the normal awake everyday mind chatter level of awareness is uh, beta level brainwaves. Yeah, sorry, Americans. I know how to pronounce my own um, my own language, my own alphabet. It's uh, Vita, actually, not Beta. I don't know where the where the fuck you people get that from. Or my my other favorite, Darius. No, it's Darius. All right. Fuck sake. And um, World Health Organization, stop culturally. Stop committing cultural appropriation by um, stealing our perfectly serviceable um, Hellenic alphabet, please, for your scamdemic purposes. All right. Omicron is a perfectly serviceable letter of our alphabet and keep your greasy evil hands off it. But I digress. Um, so by... <laughs> by... Uh, <laughs> By thinking that they're going to make Christ attractive to anybody after what they did way back then is laughable and hilarious. By taking all these wonderful pre-existing pagan dying and resurrecting godmen and turning them into the Frankenstein's monster called Jesus Christ, uh, they've made themselves a laughing stock, really. Um, which is why they try to destroy the, the poor Gnostics as much as they could, because they had their finger on the pulse to begin with. But there, there it is. Oh, and um, in whose universe is it a pagan world? <laughs> we are a minority. And when I say we are, I mean, pagan, the, the, the broad term pagan or paganism covers a lot of different types of spiritual traditions. So I call myself pagan and heathen to specify that Germanic Scandinavian spiritual path that I connect with so strongly and all the rest of that stuff, right? But um, paganism in all its wonderful expressions, different expressions, uh oh, there's that word again, different. Oh dear. Um is a minority religion. They are minority religions. By a long stretch. I mean, fuck, there's more people into Scientology, probably, than there are pagans and or heathens in the world. All right? Even though it's growing, and even though in Iceland, for the first time in a thousand years, they, they have had a... Um, they built a pagan temple in Iceland for the first time in a thousand years, which is absolutely fantastic. An increasing number of people are being drawn to paganism for obvious reasons. Um, in w what warped imagination is this a pagan world? I don't, je ne as my French friends and my French teacher would say, je ne comprends pas, right? I do not understand. I just found that hilarious. Um, <laughs> I had to share that. That's just fucking gold. <laughs> uh, just like the retard at the, at the cafe today, I was just minding my own business, having my coffee, having my cake, reading my book, and some fucking cunt just decides to s stare at me. It's the same creepy weirdo that, um, that always seems to have a problem with me for no reason at all. And then I said to him out loud, take a photo, retard. It lasts longer. And of course, he sort of hurried along and quickly turned away and almost tripped over his feet yet again. 
um, while I'm enjoying water from my r Raging Rhino, the narrative's fucked water bottle. <laughs> uh, if you like Star Wars and um, pop culture and all that, check out the man's channel. Raging Rhino is the channel. It's a fucking legend, especially when it gets into Raging Rhino mode. Pure gold. But um, oh, also before I go, there's a weird thing today where there are a couple of um, comments by, I think it was R. Vero, if you're listening to, link to this. By the time I got to them, they, they disappeared. I don't know what happened. I don't know what YouTube did or whatever, but they were gone. So I couldn't sort of like them and comment on them. I don't know what happened there. Um, are they starting to fuck with my comments? I, I, I hope not. But just keep that in mind. Um, be well, be wise, be reverent, and take the piss out of everyone who just takes themselves just a wee bit too seriously, more than they should. And remember, as always, to speak the path is a... To straight speak the truth is a very, very lonely and isolating path. <laughs> the amused, sarcastic lone wolf on guitar out.